War broke out in the Middle East. Domestic terrorism got out of control. The president tirelessly toured the country, urging patience and calm. Then Air Force One went down, and the president is presumed dead. Martial law was declared, and the United States of America was turned overnight into a police state. Curfews were enforced. Identity papers were required for all. Penalties for unlawful behavior were harsh and certain. And it worked, too, for a time. The riot stopped. Everyone had food, water, and power. Stability and peace returned to the country. But it was peace without freedom. And that was a price some of us would not pay. Okay, so did someone make sure the regime's control ops are gonna be sleeping while we fly dead up the middle of their airspace? You'll hug the ground. The train is all mountains. Stay low enough, and radar will never pick you up. Hug the ground, huh? Can't we just take a bus? Seems safer. Not as safe as walking. And your point is? When I say war, what do you see in there? Lousy coffee. We're fighting an enemy that doesn't sleep. That means we sleep even less. Every wasted moment is unacceptable. I take a bullet for some French roast. Am I getting through to him at all? You're damn right you're getting through. I'm just fighting to get my coffee back, man. Hey, Jen, cut Londo some slack. This embargo is really killing him. And he's just not his normal self without his imported beans. Decker. about Mondo. That's how he deals with pressure. Yeah, I know. It still makes me crazy. Well, I think what's making him crazy, out of all of us, is that we still don't know why we were given this assignment. Knowing is dangerous. They only tell us what we need to know. Marine Corps works on need to know. This isn't the Marines. The people on this plane... They're our only contact with thousands of freedom fighters in the Northwest. Only they know how to reach their groups, their cells. If you don't get them back to their home base, that whole army becomes invisible. And worse, they were here for a planning meeting with the top resistance leadership. If you don't get them home safe, and soon, an entire offensive campaign against the regime goes up in smoke. Some kind of electrical problem. 
Everything is out. Move to the radio. Shut off fuel to the left. Gotcha. I got plans this weekend, Dex. They ain't much. But the plans. You're gonna have to land at the dead stick. Right about now, the last word I wanna hear is dead. So dumb, huh? I guess not. Uh, everyone okay? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're great. Just great. Okay. Yeah, man. Nice save. This could have been a lot worse. Yeah. I can't move. Um, How you doing? Back up. On three. Okay, one. wait, 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 wait. Are you, are you going one, two, three, go or one, two? Ah! God, okay, great. Let me take a look. Paramedic. It's Lacey. Not so bad. I'll have you up and limping again in no time. Let me see. Two beautiful women come into my rescue. Give me a minute. Let's see what else hurts. So what happened? Something short about the electrical system. These old prompt transports? Accidents <sighs> waiting to happen. Five tango down a year. Electrical shortages, fuel problems, and they lose altitude fast. The FAA was about to issue an airworthiness directive before the coup. Oh, well, thanks for telling us now. <sighs> kind of an accident, Buff. Locker B, Long Island, Korea, the Concord, Air Force One. Give me a plane, I'll tell you how it crashed. Yeah. Name's Yablowski. Don't care so much for flying. You know, I'd have thought you people would have used transport that actually worked. Or at least checked it. It was checked. It was four by four. What happened? Bad luck. Or someone didn't want us to get home. All right, everybody out. It'll be dark soon. Let's salvage what we need. No, sir. We have solid information from our operative that the resistance plane did take off. We have not been able to track it. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. No brakes. No distractions, no excuses. Total concentration. I want this plane found. Look, you know, we've got a clock, right? There's a lot of people depending on us to show up in Seattle soon, real soon. We know that, Siva. Oh, you think? Well, you know, this isn't some damn tourist trip, you know. We've got to get back. No one else knows the entire plan for the offensive. No one even knows how to contact the thousands of fighters in our cells. We'll get you there. Oh, yeah? Well, you know what? Suddenly my confidence level's not as high as it could be. You think I care? So what now? Personally, I don't feel like freezing to death out here. No one's gonna freeze to death. So where do we go from here? North. We cross this ridge, then find a way down. There's a small regime airfield about 25 miles tops. Should be able to borrow something there. If we move fast, we'll make it by nightfall tomorrow. Gives us plenty of time to get you all home. Yeah, great. It all sounds fine. But I'm starving. What do we do for food? Fast for a day, Yablowski. It won't kill you. Why don't you give him a break? We're all in the same boat. Look, we all know you guys are trained for this kind of survival thing. But we're just regular, non-superhero type people here. Just because we're resistance cell leaders doesn't mean we can leap tall buildings. Hell, I'm a corporate redesigner. 
I'm not prepared for this. And I'm betting most of these guys aren't either. All right, enough. Okay, we are getting out of here. There is no shelter, there is very little water, and a day or so most of you are going to be hypothermic or dehydrated. And barring cannibalism, there's nothing to eat. Look, guys, Londo's right. Five years an outward bound, and I've seen guys die in terrain half this bad. Fine. But going up, over a ridge, you all saw the terrain. Why don't we just go down? At least we wouldn't all kill ourselves. Look, if we don't get home soon, we might as well be dead. The battle plan for the offensive will be useless in two days. We're it. There is no plan B. Don't worry. We'll get you there. The way is over that ridge. So grab your gear and let's move. No, sir. We've heard nothing from our operative. We have to assume the failsafe was executed and the plane's gone down. Yes, we're uh, scrambling an air wing to do a grid search of the projected flight path. Yes, sir. You can rest easy, sir. Where are my choppers? Jay, call. You guys take that trail down to the right. We'll meet up at the bottom. 10-4, Captain. You know, man... I had your ass pegged for discharge in a month. What happened to the guy used to hang out at CJ's all night picking fights, kicking back? I changed. After little Tommy died and my mom held bent on killing the pain. What about you? I had your scrawny ass pegged for Attica by now. This close, man. Two years in juvie, I popped in my ass in boot camp. Tough love and all, you know? Damn, man, I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. That's why I teach, you know? Help them kids out so they don't screw their lives up like I did. Some of them, they want to join the fight. Join myself. Who'd have thought back in the day, this grindy little kid Carl and I would bound, be leading a bunch of freedom fighters. Yeah, well, I guess I grew up. I guess we all had to. I'm just glad to see somebody else from the hood made it through, man.
the view. I know. It's incredible. If only my feet weren't about to fall off. When we get back, I'll give you a foot massage. You know, experts say the foot is the most sensual part of the body. I could make you feel things you can't imagine. Sounds great. You're on. So, Nina, three's company. In your dreams. Count on it. Let's try to live through this first, okay? We're gonna do just fine. Isn't that right, Lacey? I'm not worried. I'm a survivor. the wrong way. If we don't hit that airfield by tonight, the mission's dead. Yeah, but it's better than you killing another one of us crossing this mountain, all right? Now, who votes to go that way? In case you missed it, this isn't a democracy. We're fighting a war here, and your whining and complaining and slowing us down only means we're out here longer, which means the risk is bigger. Now, you want to quit, then you go right on. Otherwise, keep your mouth shut and keep it to moving. talking, but he went for a leak. What parts stay together didn't he understand? Lighten up. We're not babysitters. Seymour! Seymour! Where are you? 
Hey, come on, we gotta go. Seymour! 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 Call me paranoid, but I'm starting to feel like an old lady with a bladder infection. Seymour! Too many accidents. You wanna know what I think? I think Seymour's dead. Why is that? Guy couldn't have made it out on his own. Frankly, I'm not sure he'd even try. What do you think happened to him? Oh, it's hard to say. Maybe he fell. Maybe an animal got him. Or maybe this plan isn't so great. We're down two already. I say we cut our losses and head to low ground before it's too late. Joe, no! He's covered. Down there? You gotta be kidding. You suggest we stay in the open? I'd suggest. Yeah. Well, don't. marks on his neck. So what are you saying? Someone snapped his neck. Oh, now where do you think you're going? I'm staying around here with a killer. Maybe you just don't want to get caught. Yeah, or maybe I don't want to give you a chance to make me next. Ah, uh, let him go. He's just going to die out there. No one's going anywhere. Come on, we've had about enough. Shut up. One of you is the enemy. It could be you. Any of you. But whoever it is has made a mistake. Because now I know. And now you're gonna have to deal with me. So this is how it's gonna go. We move as a group. Sleep as a group. Piss as a group. You see that mine shaft? We take two hours rest. Sleep in shifts. Anybody not comfortable with that can stay awake with me. We move again at nightfall. We will finish this mission. And whoever sold us out can be damn sure by the time we hit that airfield, I'll know who you are. Hey, Dex. These walls are really unstable, man. Wouldn't take a lot to send this whole place crashing down. Nobody touches anything. We need the shelter. It's comforting. This place has been here for a hundred years, maybe. What are the odds of it collapsing tonight? On this trip, I'd take that bet. I said don't touch anything. hungry I'm starving there'll be food tomorrow when we hit the airfield you know i don't get you guys there are three dead bodies back there we just keep on going like nothing happened let this animal keep picking us off maybe you're the animal well i wasn't the one next to piper's body was i yeah and i wasn't the one with siva right before he disappeared maybe siva's not dead maybe he's the one that killed piper and lacy maybe he's out there hiding right now you know, now that I think about it, you tried to bump me over the edge earlier. Didn't work, so you thought you'd take out Piper instead, is that it? Oh, come on, I slipped. And you knew about the plane, you knew exactly how to take it down, then you just thought you'd pick us off one by one. Stop! Back off, Wonder Girl. You don't impress any of us. And why couldn't it have been one of you? You're all trained killers, right? You want to show me how you did it? Don't try me. At least I don't pretend to be one of the boys. 
You get off in the power, or you just like the attention. Like I said. Sin. All right, all right, come on. Everybody loves a cat fight. Show's over, guys. Move along. That leg doesn't look so bad to me. Nina, shut up. Londo. Take a look down the shaft. It's got to be a vent. See what you can find. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Next time, I let you pick a trail. Next time, how about we flip for it? That way no one gets to blame. Yes. 
always me. Was it always me? Jay. Odd man out, little kid Carl. Carl, this is wrong, man. I loved you like a brother. Yeah, well, love's not all it's stacked up to be now, is it? Man, what happened to you, Carlton? Of course you never saw it. You're always tougher than everybody. Faster. Stronger. You know, there's more than one kind of prejudice, Jay. And you never noticed the way you treated me. The way everybody treated me. Being smarter. Smaller. Different. Left behind. I'm not being left behind anymore. It's time to make a difference for me and for the regime. Be on the winning team. Come on, Carl. Man, you can't just throw out our history. Yeah. History's for losers. actually fall off a cliff. Don't look so surprised, Carl. I had to know if it was you. Oh, yeah. Thanks for calling in our ride out of here. You want to make a difference, Carl? There are other ways. Because the only difference you're going to make now is a fine meal for a bucket full of maggots.
Look, I I'll trade you a shower and a meal, man, for the spot where the rest of these resistance scum and hold up. I'll take you right now. Secure the area, then get him back to the chopper. Move out. Where's the chopper? You should help the others. <laughs> I'll only end up slapping her out. Any regrets about what we're doing, Becca? This? Buried in the middle of nowhere? What's to regret? Maybe we're fighting a war we can't win. I don't believe that. I won't. No one's making you stay. Except that wall of rock. I know. It just feels right, you know? You guys, what we do. Everything I got left is in my future. The past is gone. Can't go back, that's for sure. Done. Can't say as good as new. It's good enough. Yeah. Need a ride? 
Got a brand new chopper waiting for us on the other side of the bridge. Let's roll. Ah, Plan J. Come on, Dex. We're almost home free. Right behind you. That's it. I got you. You know, this reminds me of the time I was up in the mountains of Tibet, roped to a load of refugee monks who were pulling out of the hot zone. This little guy, Kwanzo, he slips, skids off the edge. Next thing you know, I'm hanging halfway off the peak, ass to the wind, holding on to this guy's little purple rope. My boy Gordo is yelling, drop him, just drop him. Like I'm doing this for my own help, you know what I'm saying? The great outdoors. Two blows committed on time. The offensive's underway. You know, I still can't believe that they were cell leaders. Takes all kinds. Even Nina. You know, I think I'd pay to see you two in a cat fight. You couldn't take the heat. What about you two? In your dreams. Oh, I know. Oh. Yeah, man. You cool. Just thinking. Friends and family. You got us now, Jay. He's right. Hello, family. Hey, Becca. Um, if we're family, does that mean that you and I can't, uh... Zone. No rules, no laws. Get anything you want. And the bad guys. Just want to know 